going on, homies? Today I'm going to talk about a few things that's helped me improve my score per minute dramatically. You know, the last video on how to get number one for the week on Kill Confirm did very well, and I thought I'd sort of add on to it. So this week, I managed to get number one for the week on Free For All pretty easily. So the purpose of this video, I, I really want to see more people that watch these kind of videos get to the top page for the week. And if you happen to do so, I'm pretty sure the top page allows 16 players, 17 players. I'm not too sure what it is, but if you happen to get on the top of the page, let me know, shoot me a message, leave a comment down below. That'd be awesome to hear. So this video, I'm gonna sort of explain my mindset going to a free for all match. You know, what I do, what what kind of score streaks, what kind of, you know, class setups I use. But before we get into that shit, I'm going to give you some raw gameplay. Then I'll meet up with you guys afterwards. So I'm going to give you a raw gameplay and then I'm going to give you another gameplay and commentate over that. So if you think you're going to learn something from this video or maybe try to take some of my advice, then please drop a like on the video. It helps me out a ton. Helps me out a ton. So I'll catch you guys after this gameplay. See ya. My bad guys, so I want to talk about something really quickly. I did recently get sponsored by a company called Fatal Grips. So if you guys want to go check them out, link will be in the description box. They do something similar to Control Freaks where they provide grip for the controller, grip for the thumb, the thumbstick on the controller. So it is a UK company. They they are in the UK right now. So and you can definitely purchase it if you're from the United States. It would be converted to US power pounds. I don't know what it, what it is. But uh, if you guys want to go check them out. The link will be in the description box. Use promo code CORE3, K-O-R-3, for 10% off. Let me know if you guys purchased it. Peace out. UAV, awaiting orders. Establish perimeter at 10,000 feet, AGL. Counter UAV, awaiting orders. Hostile UAV spotted. Drone overhead, counter surveillance active. UAV MTL, 50% check. Well. So as you can see, I didn't drop the nuked out. It's actually kind of a struggle for me when I'm like trying to focus on score per minute. It's very hard for me to get the nuked out title card. 
but I want to say these th- these three things I'm about to tell you are essential to getting a good score per minute, a good game, you know, a good game for the leaderboard. So number one, aggressiveness. Number two is a proper setup, proper class setup, obviously. And three, don't be a scrub. So going off of the number one tip, aggressiveness, you need to move around, okay? I know a lot of you guys just kind of play conservative. In free-for-all especially, if you're trying to go for those weekly leaderboards, you need to be aggressive. You need to understand the map, how the map plays out, where the general spawns are when you die. So the next time you go into a match solo, try to understand how the map plays out. You know, where the general spawns are going to be when you die or where the spawn will be when you're at a certain part of the map. Because obviously when you're at a part of the map, you're influencing uh, where the enemies are going to spawn. So, you know... Try to be aware of that. So the next time you go into a match solo, try to control the map. Try to understand the map as well as kill enemies if that makes sense. So number two, proper class setup. Stock and fast mags are essential when you are being aggressive. You know, you need to have a fast reload speed. And, you know, cutting the reload time in half will save you from dying a lot. So fast mags, I know a lot of you guys use extended mags. Try fast mags out. Switch it out. You definitely don't need extended mags. Extended mags. Trust me on that one. So for the third tip, don't be a scrub, Okay. Uh, This is kind of something that I just want to rant about because every single time I get a kill, I always get a comment, oh, you're a hacker or oh, you're a scrub. And for those that say that, just don't make excuses when you die. Instead, try try to be a nerd about it and try to understand how and why you died, okay? Obviously, you're looking at this video. You want to get on the game and you want to dominate. You want to be a good player, okay? So when you die, try to understand it. Try to embrace it, kid. You know what I mean? Accept it and try to figure out why you died and what you can do better next time you know i know it's just a video game but honestly that's the that's the truth of the matter it's like you gotta understand how you died and you gotta work on not doing that again so you're gonna bounce back from it you know getting exposed to different types of encounters you know gunfights and black ops will just allow you to become a better player at the game if that makes sense so that is my two cents i'm out of two cents to throw at you guys you know what i mean but that that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys try to Take the take the tips, take the advice I'm trying to give you when when it comes to trying to be a good player. You know, obviously I'm not the best player, but I do know how to play the game a certain style. I know how to spawn trap. I know how to be aggressive. I know how to play smart when it when it's time to play smart. So you know, it's just a balance of you know game styles and game plays and stuff like how you play the game. So you know, let's go over one more time: aggressiveness, proper class setup, fast match. You need to try that. And just don't be a scrub. Don't make excuses, okay? That's 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 pretty much it, guys. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you are in top page or if you are on the top page. Um, my strategy guide for 99 cents is in the description box. The update for that mini guide, I know a guy, I know a lot of you guys are wondering when the guy's gonna be updated. Let me tell you what I have right now. I have a hundred class setups all ready to go. I have a hundred or I have ten ten to twenty setups for assault rifles, ten to twenty setups for submachine guns, and obviously I'm not gonna give you bullshit with the snipers because <coughs> I don't use snipers, so I'm not gonna feed you bullshit. And I have a class setup for the dingo and the BRM because I use the BRM a lot when the game first released and I use the dingo a lot now. Okay. So I'm gonna give you some class setups that re- that I use all the time. Because my class setups do change sometimes, not too much, but I do like. Because I did purchase a hundred class setups for like two hundred cop points, I think, or five hundred cop points. So uh, expect an update. I'd say at the end of this month. I know it's very late, but you guys are gonna have to bear with me. If you guys are still into the game, you know, for those who have purchased it, obviously you guys are gonna get the updated copy of it come you know March thirtieth or 29th whenever this month ends. But that is it for today's video. Expect a video tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.